Hello guys, in this video we'll learn how to implement Firebase authentication using Rust. So we'll implement both sign up to allow our users to register and sign in to log in into their accounts. So let's get started. First of all, move to your Firebase console in your favorite browser and let's configure the auth. So in your Firebase console, once you are in your project, move to the build and here you will find the option authentication. Just click it. And once you see this screen, just press get started. After that, it will redirect you to this screen where you can see the providers. So we'll be implementing email password authentication. So we'll just click that and enable and press save. That's literally all that you need to do to add the provider for authentication, which is email password support, and then move to your project overview in the project settings. You will find a web API key. So just copy this. We'll need this while interacting from our Rust application. So back to our ID, let's add a few dependencies that we'll be needing. One of them is Firebase Auth SDK with the latest version. And then we need Tokyo for our async programming with version as latest and features as full. Then we need Axiom for our web server and Sarday for JSON serialization and deserialization with the latest version and features as derived. That's literally all that we need. Let's build our project. Meanwhile, we need a few uh, files. So let's create those. So we'll need these both Rust mo uh, modules, uh, model.rs and controller.rs. This will hold our handlers for sign it and sign up. And model will obviously hold our model. So let's get started. So first of all, let's quickly add our model. So we'll say pubstruct and create request. I would just call it credential request or cred request and derive deserialize and here we'll add pub email as string and pub password as string and similarly we'll add a response so we'll say pub struct response and here we'll say pub message as string and this is also derive serialization because this is response we have to serialize and the request we have to deserialize so that's all that we need in our model now let's go ahead and add our uh, web server and then our controller so first of all here let's quickly make our make our main as async tokyo main async and then we'll say let auth service fire auth and new and here so as you can see these imports as well if it's not automatically imported you can just import the same and then here you have to add your api key so this i copied from the console you can also do the same and once we have our key we can just wrap it in string from so we have our auth and now let's add our app router new and dot route slash sign in post and sign in that we'll add in a minute and similarly route sign up post and this is also a sign up handler that we'll add in a minute and then the layer will pass our service as extension service and then we'll just add the listener so tokyo net tcp listener bint and as usual we'll run our web server on port 3000 await unwrap and now we'll just serve our app listener app await unwrap uh, listening so now let's quickly add our handlers uh, so in the controller we'll just say pub async fn sign in and similarly let's add pub async fn sign up 
so let's add these here just import it and there you can see everything so let's move to our controller now and let's finish this layer so in the sign up or sign in we will quickly pass our service as extension service of uh, Pyroth and then we have to pass our request right request and this we will just do JSON so same is true for sign up let's add the same and then here in the response we will either send a resu result of JSON of response actually for sign in we just need impl into response and for sign up we will add result of our json of response or just the status code now let's quickly write both sign in and sign up so we'll just say match service dot sign in email and here we have to add our email and password so we'll say cred request dot email dot as str cred request dot password dot as str and then do we need a token while we sign in yes we need so we have to send true to get our token and just to await so here let's add our both the remaining patrons okay so in the while sign in we'll get some response so we'll just say status code as okay and here we'll say header um, authorization header and string from response dot id token and then we'll just pass our message which is successfully logged in and in the, in case of any error we'll just do e print ln our error which is just exception and then we'll reply back with all these three things but here instead of this we'll just do new and invalid credentials and we'll say unauthorized so this is our sign in done now let's go ahead and do our sign up so while sign up we will quickly say match service dot sign up email to register our user and we'll just pass cred dot request dot email as str request.password as str and here we don't need the token and we'll just do await and let's add both the patrons so in case of success we'll pass our message so we'll say message is equals to response and message string from and we'll say successfully registered so actually i wanted to show you guys both uh, while we want to send some headers how to send out the response and then just using the uh, default body and uh, the status code please log in and we have uh, let's 
let's say OK of JSON of message. So similarly, in case of error, we'll just print our exception, just like how we did in sign in. Exception, and then we'll just do is error of status code of a uh, bad request. So we have our sign up ready. We have our sign in ready. Let's go ahead and test it. So just open your terminal and as usual, we'll just do cargo run. As you can see, it says listening. Uh, we just have a warning for maybe some extra imports, which is fine. But let's go ahead and test it. So just move to your favorite tool and to request, which will be adding one is post. We'll just do HTTP localhost 3000 sign up and we'll pass the body json body and even let's say if we send him the request as you can see it says 422 unprocessable because it needs somebody so let's send email as uh, dummy at gmail.com and password is admin one two three for example let's send it okay as you can see it says successfully registered please log in so now let's go ahead and try the login one so we go here we create a post http localhost 3000 and if we send empty again uh, actually we have to send sign in here it says unsupported now let's add the body JSON and we'll add some invalid body first and see what happens password let's see as you can see it says 401 invalid credentials and also let's try with a user who's not registered for example eric at gmail.com and eric123 same but let's try with our original body that is valid there you go as you can see it says successfully logged in and in the headers you can see authorization token as well which obviously you can then use to uh, do the following request or validate your token there are other different functions as well in this sdk for example email verification or get users uh, everything that you can try but that's it for this video guys i hope you guys learn something new if you do just press a thumbs up write your comments and if you have any problems feel free to question I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.